Hey, what's up everyone? Red Zone Gaming here. And today we are going to be uh, making a gun for Doom. So to get started out, what you want to do is download this awesome program called Slate or Slate 3. I'll provide uh, all the download links in the description below. So just go ahead and, and once you get to this page, click Windows Installer. And you're also going to need an image editing program, so GIMP. So just go ahead and click that. The reason why you need uh, software like Slate and stuff to edit is because basically uh, Doom modding files are stored in almost like sort of arc archive files. There are different varieties called WAD and PK3, but uh, PK3 is more so like an archive because it allows for folders. But with a WAD file, you can only create files directly into it. You cannot create a directory. Alright, so now that you have GIMP up, go ahead and open the file that you downloaded. And we'll be here. Alright. So, now what you want to do is just simply cut out each one of these images. And then just export that. So now you have all your images. Alright, so now that you have all your images, go ahead and drag them into the WAD file. So I personally like my images above my sound, so you can press Control U to move things up and Control D to move things down. So once you have these, uh, sometimes WAD files require um, markers like S start for sprite start. You want to place that before all your sprites and S in for sprite in, which goes after all your sprites. There we go. Still not running. Alright, it doesn't want to go down, so we're not even going to have them in here. It should still work without it. Alright. So next, we're going to go ahead and create a file called decorate, which is going to be all the code for the gun. Now, in order to call sounds for the gun, you're going to need to define those too, and those will be defined in a file called SMD info. Now, for some reason, um, Slate is not cooperating with me, so I'm just going to leave that there. So go ahead and change the languages on both of those. And we're going to go ahead and define the sound. So um, since we have three sounds, we're going to randomize them like this. We're going to, do, we're going to call, um, basically when we call this sound, this is the name that we're going to use. So I'm just going to use rifle fire. It's going to be, these are um, what, whatever in between these brackets is going to be the sounds to randomize. So rifle zero one, rifle zero two, and rifle zero three. Zero. Actually, you don't really need the commas, so you can take those out. Now, uh, these are not going to work unless we define them. So, so rifle zero one, rifle zero one. And then the same for all the other sounds. Okay, so that's pretty much all defined. Um, you can also define volume too. For instance, uh, the way you do that is just dollar sign volume and then name. So rifle fire and 1.0 is just normal. So we're going to have this like. 1.8 because the sound is quite loud. Alright, so next, let me see if that. Oh, hey, look, I fixed it. There we go. So, in our decorate, we're going to type out actor because every weapon or basically everything 
that is a object in the game is called an actor. So actor, um, and then the name of a gun. So I'm gonna just call it UAC rifle. And then it's what it's going to be inherit from. So doom weapon. Let me make this font bigger. There we go. Now it should be easier for you guys to see it. Alright, so now the first thing you want to do to make it so that the weapon will actually show up, especially with um, some mods where they have their own custom inventory styles, is you want to type weapon dot slot number and then the slot number that you want. So for an assault rifle, I'm going to set that to 4. Alright, so now, um, what do we, what type of ammo do we want the weapon to take? Well, since this is a um, rifle, we're going to have it take clips. So ammo type. Clip. And next is the weapon bob style. Basically how the weapon is going to move around when we walk. So I'm going to set my bob style, or the style I like. To smooth, or actually, you don't need the parentheses there. Just like smooth. Now, um, we have some other things to define, like bob speed and weapon dot bob range x and weapon dot bob range y. So I'm going to set my bob speed to 2.2 and the range. Um, let me think what would be a good range for an assault rifle. Probably uh, 0 0.4. And for the Y, I'm going to set that to 0 0.2. Alright, so now for uh, states. So basically what states are is if, it's basically like saying um, when a weapon is in this condition or in this state, um, run this code. So there are some states that every weapon must have, or else, um, like for instance, if I try to if I try to run this as is right now, you'll notice. All right. So what you'll notice is that if we try to summon in the gun, nothing happens because the game basically doesn't know what to do with it because it has no states. Alright, so now, um, the required states for a weapon are ready, select, deselect, and fire. So for every state, there has to be something at the end of it to tell it what to do when it's done running. So for ready, we're just going to loop. And for select, um, we'd normally loop that too, so we're, we're going to put these on loop at first, because we're going to make a really, really simple weapon. And then we're going to um, make it more complex. Oh, also, not really a required one, but spawn. Very useful. Alright. So basically, spawn will just loop. And what you want to put in spawn is basically the graphic to display when the weapon is on the ground. So we don't really have one. I'm just going to go ahead and grab one from, let's say, Weapons of Saturn or something. Alright, so I just go, uh, went ahead and took this graphic right here. I'm going to go ahead and name that to the similar name patterns that I've been using. So UAC S for spawn, and then A0. Move that up to where all my other graphics are. So I'm going to display UAC S A0, or actually A negative 1. Because negative one, basically, this is the image, this is the frame, and this is the time to display it for. And negative one is forever. So as long as it's on the ground, we're always going to display it. All right. So now, when the weapon's ready, what do we want it to display? Well, we want it to look like we're holding it in our hand. So we're going to you, uh, we're going to type UAC G for gun A, and then one, and that should be that for that. Now, for selecting a weapon, we want to type um, UACG A1 and then A underscore rise. Actually, raise. Yeah, raise. Alright, so now what you also need is for this weapon is A underscore weapon ready. 
So that basically says that this, we're going to ready a, a weapon. Yeah. So now for deselect, instead of range, you just put lower. So now if we go into the game, change this loot to a stop. Also, you want to change um, Doom Weapon to just Weapon. Alright, so if you're having the same problems that I was having where the weapon does not show up in the game, make sure you do not forget to have a S underscore start and a S underscore end marker. These are apparently required. Alright, so after you have all that set up, um, you'll notice that when you on your weapon in. It looks very, very strange. So um, that means that it's time to do basically all the animation setup as far as these images. So go ahead and set each one of these to HUD. Now what you want to do is align these with the center of the screen. So go ahead and put them on this bottom line right here and as close to the center as you can get the center line alright there you go that looks pretty centered to me so remember remember your offsets for all your other Gun, uh, for all your other gun sprites, so negative 96, negative 68. So once you have all these, actually you don't really need to do anything for this one. So. I like to organize the gun as like for idle and then fire right afterwards so I can just scroll through frames. So what you want to do as far as the when the gun fires, alright, so when the weapon fires, we want to make sure it goes it moves back so as to look like some recoil. Let's see if we change this to let's see over 50, or whoops, wrong direction. But remember, it's always best to move the image in an interval of two to four units, so that way it doesn't look like it's just shooting to another position. So from 68, then to 64. Uh, from 68 to 72, that's what I meant. There we go. So now you see it looks like it's being fired back. And for B, This at like 74 we could do. Yep, there we go. That looks nice. Alright, so now to make the fire animation. Also don't forget to put over here weapon dot ammo use one. So for fire, we're going to loop through our Two fire animations, so UAC fire A. I like to keep these separate just for animating purposes, and then B. So set A to two and B to one, so that way the first flame is a little noticeable. And then we'll make this bright, make this bright as well, and then A is for fire bullets, and then spread. Will be zero, zero, and number of bullets will be one. And damage, let's just do like four. UAC G or USA, yeah, G. <coughs> excuse me, four. Actually, three. Now we can test this out. So how it looks. Alright, pretty nice.
so we can shoot some enemies. Now there's two ways of going about doing this. I think you, the first thing you can do is type attack sound, and then just assign that to uh, rifle rifle fire. So the the other way to go, of going about doing this, and if you are going to add in reload animations or things with different sounds, this is the best way to do it. Um, the sound is a underscore play sound, and then the sound name, so uh, rifle fire, and then the slot. So the lower the slot is, the more priority it takes. So I'm going to put this in slot number two. So now anything that's slot number one, like for instance, um, the reload start, that's going to take priority over the over the gunshot. So you're going to hear the background sound from the gunshot. So for instance, after you hear the shot, you know, you have that sound right there, as well as the reload start, which will give it the nice effect of like depth. But we'll probably end up doing all those awesome effects next time. Um, so see you then.